I woke up today, yeah. Feeling good, I'm ballin'. I just got the drop. Coulda got the Rari. Feels like yesterday, yeah. Nigga, I was starving. I just fucked your bitch. I ain't never sorry. I ain't never sorry. In the one and done era, we are usually dazzled by all these amazing freshman talents, but that's not always the case for everyone. Today, we will talk about the five freshman screw-ups who came into the season with some type of high expectations, but have already encountered obstacles that can alter their NBA hopes. At number one, we have Michael Porter Jr., the potential number one draft pick for the class of 2018, someone who already had a questionable pass. Starting his high school career at Father Tolton in Missouri, where he stayed until his senior year, then transferring to Nathan Hale in Washington, where his dad was hired as an assistant coach, with both of the Porter brothers' commitments following until the end of the season, where the whole coaching staff was fired. Coincidentally, both Porters decommit. Michael Porter, a unique talent missing height, athleticism, and skill, has fans around the world raving about his talents and awaiting his college debut. Mizzou's basketball team went 8-24 in the 2016-2017 season. Watching MPJ in scrimmages and practices, you saw that he was the key to turning the program around. Within the first two minutes of the Mizzou opening game, it was reported that Porter suffered a hip injury, or leg injury? The interesting part about this all was that after Porter checked out the first game, he seemed to be holding his left knee rather than hip. Whether or not Mizzou is being secretive about his diagnosed injury, we all know that Mizzou is pretty shitty without him and that we will not see the number two player in action this year. Mitchell Robinson was the number 11th rated player in the class of 2017. He had an offer from Kansas, Texas A&M, Alabama, and LSU was also getting looked at by UNC until he unexpectedly committed to Western Kentucky. Hmm, nothing fishy about that, right? Mitchell was to then leave Western Kentucky just weeks after his arrival to simply just prepare for the 2018 draft. This decision certainly has not helped his draft stock. As a high-ranked NBA executive told ESPN, he's a huge red flag and I'm not sure he's even that good. At number three, we have Leangelo Ball. By now, everyone's heard the story, but for those who haven't, Leangelo Ball is the middle brother of Lonzo and LaMelo, the least talented of the three, but still set to make his freshman year debut for UCLA in China until this happened. UCLA went to China to play their opening game against Georgia Tech. Jello, along with other two freshmen, Cody Riley and Jalen Hill, were accused of taking sunglasses from a Louis Vuitton store in Hangzhou. The players did not play in the opening game and remained in the team's hotel. The players were released on bail November 8th and thanked Donald Trump publicly, but still remained suspended. Brian Bowen was the number one rated small forward and 14th ranked player in the country in the class of 17. Brian Bowen would release his top six, which was Creighton, NC State, Arizona, Michigan State, and Texas. Brian Bowen was pretty late on his commitment in comparison to the others in his class when out of nowhere, he committed to Louisville. An already tainted program, Bowen was quickly suspended after an FBI investigation found $100,000 were funneled by an Adidas rep to Bowen for his commitment. This investigation also resulted in the firing of Hall of Fame coach Rick Pitino. At 5, rounding out the list, we have No Limit Bill. Billy Preston, a 20-year-old freshman who was a top 25 recruit in high school. Committing to Kansas, he has still yet to play a game. Preston missed the first game due to skipping class and missing curfew, but right before the second game, Preston was held out after reports of him getting in a single vehicle accident in a so-called questionable car that's not registered to him. The season is now five games in and Preston has yet to make his debut.